Hey, what's up, guys? Back making a quick video about this uh, NASA, about them faking space. This one is about the solar probe that uh, was launched August 12th at 3:31 a.m. Um, so this was launched to send a satellite that was literally gonna touch the sun, like literally just get launched into the sun. And uh, there's two different videos you can watch on this. There's one on the NASA YouTube channel, which uh, I'm gonna share right here, which is going on, you know, in the background. There's another one from Facebook. If you um, if you are on Facebook, you could visit the NASA Facebook official website or site, whatever, and um, go back to August 12th and or you know around august 12th and um you'll see a, it's an hour long video hour 52 minutes and you could watch it all it's gonna basically so the the youtube video is basically the the, the video compacted because the um the hour the almost two hour video is the actual you know it's the whole it's a webcast of the actual uh, launching and so basically what you're gonna see is the way they fake space one of the ways they fake space so what they do is they send this sat this on uh, a rocket up in the air and as soon as it gets out of sight they uh they just switch over to cgi cartoons basically and uh, that's what we get to see as outer space and you know some people are going to try to rationalize this in, in their minds by saying well it's classified data or they don't have the capabilities to record in space which is you know baloney you know we you guys really you guys know that's not true if there was a space they'd be able to uh have you know webcast from space that wouldn't be a problem so um my my point is that there is no outer space that no one's leaving the permanent no one's leaving this planet and this is just another proof of how they fake it and upper stage fuel system has begun boost phase chill down Five minutes into flight, just over 30 seconds now remaining in first stage, first stage phase of flight. Core booster engine continues to look good in the full thrust mode. Vehicle trajectory continuing down the middle of the range track. Five minutes, 20 seconds into flight. And standing by for core booster throttle down momentarily. Core booster has begun to throttle down. Standing by for BECO. And we have BECO booster engine cutoff standing by for stage set. And we have good indication of stage separation. <laughs> Ned is deploying. We have pre start on the RL10. And we have ignition on the RL10 engine. Engine chamber pressure looks good. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison. Now six minutes, 20 seconds into flight. And with the boost phase of flight complete, Parker Solar Probe will now continue its journey to the sun.